was uh, a fantastic opportunity to get into Europe, very exciting at the time. Uh, Milan, who now were quite a minor team, and back then, uh, in 95, it was uh, the Italian sides had already been semi-professional for a while and had some great international players playing. So going down to Milan was, was quite a, a, an, a, an achievement to go down there and come away with a win. We had some young players coming through. Um, I think like, Malo Kelly got his first game there and he'd come in for Neil Francis. We had uh, Shane Byrne was in there, the likes of Dean Oswald, and uh, the likes of Niall Connor. We, we had some great attacking players there, but it was a sort of game for, for grafting. And uh, uh, Brian Rigney, the old bit of experience was great in one of those games. They had a 25 stone second row and there was a bit of a punch up in, in one of the scrums. And I, and I remember as I was going, I got tripped from behind and uh, as one guy sort of uh, came to have a go at me as we left the scrum. And next thing there, this 20, we must have been 25, so one of the biggest second rows I've ever seen. And was coming and all I could see is focused on my head. His foot come up and Brian managed to give him a little elbow off. So I mightn't have had much of a career after that, but that, that's for the days we were in. So thankfully that, that day has sort of moved on a bit. I remember going for a kickoff and um, taking a kind of Gaelic style, a nice, uh, completely open to a hit which did come from uh, my opposition, which was a 22 stone, 36 year old, bearded, uh, kind of some sort of mongrel. And he absolutely cleaned me and continued to clean me out every time I went in the air until the last kickoff, which I refused to catch. Uh, so it was, you know, there were different times. Uh, there was no video analysis back then. I think it was a very exciting time. It was the start of professionalism, the start of the European Cup. Um, obviously, pitching your, your wares on the European stage was, was hugely exciting. Starting off Milan, it was a big game. Um, a great team, good team that bonded well together as well. Um, you know, like everything else, you didn't know where the road was going to go to, but uh, a great journey, a uh, great bunch of guys. We didn't have uh, any idea, really, of what uh, this would lead to. We played two matches and got into a semi-final. It was the start of something, and uh, we obviously weren't really aware of it, and uh, we were just kind of on the roller coaster. The Irish youth structure was great. I mean, the, the provinces took to the uh, European Cup like a duck to water. Um, as I said, it was an exciting time. We kind of knew money was coming to the game. We didn't know what level. Um, from an Irish point of view, uh, around about that time, there were some big results in Ireland. Munster were, were dominating. Leinster and Ulster were, were dominating in terms of the, um, in the Pro Series. So yeah, it was an exciting time. Did we know where it was going to go? We got to the semi-final eventually that year. Um, it was only after that you realise how hard it is to get to the semi-final. So as tradition and experience would show, a lot of that tradition and experience soaked up and then eventually, you know, winning in 2009 from a Leinster point of view and obviously the month's success before that in 2006 was huge. And, you know, as I said, that's very much part of the journey that's ongoing. It was probably just the start of uh, provincial rugby moving from the AIL clubs uh, to, to what it is today and it was a small step towards, you know, filling out the Aviva Stadium for, for the, these December Christmas games.